Hello everyone, welcome to Abhipedia. My name is Abhishek Sharma and today we will discuss a new issue that has been springing up all the time since the 2007-8 global financial crisis, especially that is falling value of Indian rupee. If you remember or recall recently, Dr. Subramanian Swami, he also pointed out that if we, uh, you know, print uh, Goddess Lakshmi on our Indian currency, then maybe the Indian currency and the economy both will revive. And he quoted Indonesia as uh, they have uh, printed Lord Ganesha on their currency and their economy has revived. <laughs> it's quite a logic. Anyhow, why uh, money value of uh, or the purchasing power of Indian rupee is falling over a period of time. So for this, there are several reasons that we have to focus upon. One of the biggest reason is money supply. See, essentially, you must understand there is one basic thing with respect to price of currency, commodity or any thing that you are trying to develop. This price is directly proportional to demand over supply. Whether it is the price of currency, whether it is the price of commodity, whether it is price of a share or a stock or anything, it is basically a demand supply issue. Now, as the demand for that currency, commodity or stock goes up, the price goes up. As the supply of that currency, commodity or stock goes down, uh, goes up, the price will go down. So this is how the currency value or the purchasing power behaves. Now, as it is, you must then understand that this is more of a money supply issue and that will determine what is the purchasing power of Indian rupee, whether it is within Indian economy or against the US dollar or whatever it is. So if the supply of US dollar is more in the economy and supply of Indian rupee is less. Now, accordingly, which will gain value? Indian rupee will gain value. And if there is the reverse, that is Indian rupee is being supplied more into the economy and US dollar is supplied less, so then US dollar will gain value. This is how the currencies go on increasing or decreasing value. When this money supply of Indian rupee gets increased, so these are the scenarios that we will be mapping in this video lecture. And uh, this is essentially useful for understanding one more area of Indian economy that is inflation, which is generally asked in every UPSC paper from year on year basis in prelims. And currency situation is one of the uh, monetary reasons for inflation. So you have to understand that. Okay. So use this in context of monetary reasons for inflation as well. And use this in understanding the falling value of rupee as well. All right. So for both, there are same kind of instances that are happening. Now the first instance in which the, uh, you know, money value of Indian rupee will fall is your high import bills and your current account deficits. Now, high import bills of India may be because of rise in crude oil prices, as you have witnessed recently in Iran, the USA killed one of their military generals. So because of that, there is a trouble. So Iran is the third largest supplier of uh, oil to India, crude oil to India. So again, price escalation can be happening. So about 30% of uh, crude oil we are importing from Iran only. So this is where the import bill is set to rise. And more than that, our imports are always higher than our exports. So current account remains in a deficit position. And our, uh, you know, incomes from remittances or uh, foreign aid or these kind of things are not as much. So current account remaining in deficit creates a big trouble for India. And every time your forex gets lost. And because of that, uh, more supply of foreign exchange or dollar currency happens in the market, even from our side, you know. And uh, because of that, you know, this creates a trouble for uh, Indian rupee because we are not holding enough amount of assets to back the value of our currency. See, currency in India, as it is, if you say one rupee, the value of that one rupee is determined by two basic factors. One is, of course, the money supply. Second is the political stability because the government guarantees what is going to be the value of that one rupee. So whatever assets that government has, the value of those assets will determine what is going to be the value of one rupee. So if the government goes on losing its foreign currency assets, its gold assets to ensure there are sufficient amount of imports in India. So this will be a deceleration or a kind of a lowering down of the value of Indian rupee. And this phenomena was witnessed first in 1990s. If you remember, uh, the almost balance of payment crisis happened in India. And India had to pledge its gold with the Bank of England, Bank of Singapore, 
uh, Bank of Switzerland and Bank of Japan. So this basically, uh, you know, we borrowed foreign exchange so that we can settle our import bills. So this was a big situation for India. And uh, anytime import bills are very high, this is going to put a stress on our currency and it's going, it's going to go down in terms of value. All right. Then investments. In case the investments slow down, that is FDI and FII, here also the money value goes down because essentially the money supply within your economy will increase and uh, this is going to be a trouble because since within your economy then more rupees required instead of foreign investment so again this will be a trouble right then economic slump or economic slowdown see whenever economic slowdown happens essentially we say that the production or the supply aspect will decrease when this decreases or goes down now the inflation will increase basically now lesser things are there and more money is there so too much money chasing too few things. This is a classical way of uh, talking about inflation. So this phenomenon will happen. So it will require more money to buy the things that are now available in the market. Yeah. So for example, recently in case of onion that happened, lesser number of onion was available. So that's why you required more money to be spent upon that same onion which you were buying for 30 rupees a kg. Now that was for 200 rupees a kg. This kind of situation happens, right? So in kind of uh, when we say economic slowdown so the slump can happen in any kind of product line whether it is onions whether it is cars whether it is anything okay so it, if that happens that also leads to losing value for rupee more rupee has to be spent the purchasing power goes down okay then equity market issue see as it is government equities are concerned people are more interested in the equities market to invest in us treasury bills or swiss treasury bills something like that rather than Indian government's treasury bills because the government securities of India don't have very good ratings internationally. If the government securities have a good rating, then they will attract better investment, then the asset value of the government will increase and based on that asset value, the currency will have the value that the government is giving out in the market to spend. So since Indian equity market is not well developed and our government equities are not very well uh, investable, and they are always poorly rated or average rated. So because of that, this is uh, rupee again loses value in comparison to especially USA uh, dollar or any other Swiss franc or something like this, right? Then monetization of fiscal deficit. This is a classic thing. See, anytime uh, the government wants to spend more than what it is earning, it has to borrow. Then more it borrows, you know, the source of borrowing will decide whether it is going to be inflationary or not. Now, if the source of borrowing is RBI, that means new currency is getting printed, new money is getting supplied into the economy to fulfill this borrowing requirement, then at that point of time, definitely we'll have higher money supply, higher inflation and losing man value of rupee. So these are some of the basic factors. All of them connote to money supply as within an economy, there is a higher supply of money as compared to its demand, the price of money will definitely go down and this price is the purchasing power so i hope you understood the basic logic thank you so much this is me abhishek sama signing off subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates from basic concepts of economy thank you so much all the best for your preparation